We're broadcasting live from the Dirty South Dome in Atlanta, Georgia, where the living's easy and the sushi is called bait. I thought you said her name was Susie. Uh, but you're right, she did look a little older. Fifteen at least. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the NFL. The team storm the field. Terror Bay Mutineers take on the Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my mental. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. He just picked the receivers back, my friends. Was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Second and one. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First and four. Turn here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Don't you just 
just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when the and the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Second down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. underrated position in football the mighty punter and he put all of his foot into that one he's got the ball now and is going to try and score that my friends was an all pro NFL hit First and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. He runs it for three. And that'll bring up third down and seven. The quarterback rigged the ball to explode, and the defensive player got... There's a bloody red head on the field! Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Yeah. Looks like this one's coming back. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? First and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Third 
down and long. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shit carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great field position. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. Picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him 10 yards right there. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Second down and in inches. Defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. Quarterback finds his man for the first down. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. <laughs> and this is a first and And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> First down and forever. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense schmuck. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Oh, and that 
hurts when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Roid rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's running out of gas now. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. And that'll be second down and four. And he gets three yards on that run. Third and two. The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. Third and two. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond Looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. 
They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Picks up two yards on the pass. And this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Third down and six. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. He got hit by a car and died. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. Well, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> first down and one. He had it for a second there. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Second down and more than the QB would like. And he rumbles for big yardage on that play. They're back in business, Bricks. My mom told me to stay out of other people's businesses, Grim. Third down and six. First down! 
He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. Third down and three. Nice hit. First down and three. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Team he's on. I don't even know if that hit didn't cripple him. It certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. shot here extra point but this guy could blow it the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the teams are lined up for the kickoff looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life he is but he's got no choice First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's 
It's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, with the punishing hit. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down and long. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pair grim you're right and he breaks through for a touchdown listen to this crowd Yay. and here comes the extra point attempt Bad. 
best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. And hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shit carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the theater antlers. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Boom! And it's first and ten. that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. All week the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. First down in a mile. Play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the chess. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench.
And he picks up about six on the play. Third down, and the quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Still, it ain't right, Grim. It just ain't. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. I don't know which way are. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. First and ten. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. The vultures limp away defeated. Yeah, they look so sad, Grim. I kind of feel sorry for them. They deserve a participation award. Screw those losers. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.